Hello everyone, it's Schizoid Angst again. Thank you for joining me on this little adventure I'm about to take you in and why things piss me off and what stuff makes my schizoid ass his blood fucking boil. But in any case, before that, I want to thank you for liking. If you haven't, please do. Subscribe, um, comment, 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 and try to watch most of the video. All that kind of shit helps uh, my video show up more often in places and Maybe I can reach out to a little few, a few more Zoids, um, so you know we can discuss even more. Also, uh, if you can uh, go to the About Me section, there is a Discord server. So if you are a Zoid or a Void, which Zoid meaning schizoid and Void meaning like an avoidant, but just in general the most socially averted people, go ahead and join the Discord. Check it out. Might be something interesting for you. Maybe not. I don't know. In any case, um, let me move forward here. Okay, so I have a story to tell. A while ago, I would say a little over three months ago, I received a phone call from an individual woman who offered me the possibility of work. Now, obviously, because of the current situation uh, with, uh, you know, pandemic and such, as they call it, um, you know, finding a job is a little difficult especially finding a job that paid um, around at least the same as my previous job, uh, and also finding a job that will pay me more than what unemployment is currently providing, or finding a job that's full-time. So that way I don't have to do part-time job, part-time unemployment, because then I'll probably end up making close to the same and with even less time throughout my day and less time with my kids. So. No thanks. Uh, Full-time jobs are difficult to come by at the moment, um, especially when you have a resume with a master's degree and everyone kind of thinks that you're overqualified to get a job of some kind, so that part sucks, and so then you have to take it off even though you're in debt because of it, so that's cool. Anyway, um, I got a phone call from somebody that uh, was offering me some kind of work and I, so obviously that was good uh, apparently they had um, gone to my previous employer and um, which I'll discuss some other time and they said that uh, they themselves and their husband uh, received very good customer service impressive superb customer service and because of that I was getting this phone call from them and I guess at some point or another somebody um, gave them my number, uh, maybe they called me or something and asked if they could, I probably didn't care, but in any case, um, uh, I got this, uh, I got this phone call and this person told me that some financial sector related job opportunities were available and if I was interested, blah, 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 and I was like, okay, well, uh, I'll take you up on your offer, um, talk to me, what's up, and then... Uh, they wanted to meet with me, it didn't end up working out, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so then three months later, like about a week or so ago, um, I got a phone call from the same person. And they were saying, well, a lot of stuff is, uh, you know, at home now. Everything's work from home, work from home, work from home. Because of the situation. And I'm like, okay. And then they tell me all this stuff about, you know, are you still interested in working and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah, I need to find a job. They're saying, well, what kind of pay are you looking for, this and that? And I'm like, well, anything that paid uh, the same, if not more, than my last job would be just fine. And if I can do it from home, that'd be great. Uh, and I can still do customer service, no problem. Which is hilarious, considering, you know, Zoid and all. Uh, and um, so I was like, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's, do, let's set something up. So I, I decided, okay... Uh, um, I'll just go on this interview thing and he'll talk to me or whatever. It's going to be like a Zoom meeting or something. And if it sounds interesting, good. If it doesn't sound interesting, well, well, it's not even about interest. If it sounds feasible, good. Uh, I, don't, I don't care how interesting it is. I just need a job that pays a decent amount. Um, not a crazy amount, just, a, you know, a living wage, as they like to say. But in California, that's pretty high. So... Um, I'm thinking, oh, this is really cool. It's a customer from my previous employer location that appreciated my efforts and decided to call me up. And 
I felt not, not so much grateful, but I was just like, oh, okay, cool. So that's good. Some effort of mine that I put in the past uh, is paying off in some respect. And that's good. So um, I tell my buddy, who's um, a lot better at this financial stuff, because, you know, they said that they've worked with stuff like Charles Schwab. And they, they threw out some J.P. Morgan, Charles Schwab type names and stuff in uh, the conversation on the phone. And I was like, okay that's cool and so then i told my buddy and he started digging into the this this group and you know um, i thought oh it's an interesting opportunity and uh well he found their youtube channel which is right in front of me here and with all 11 subscribers and i found out the name of the company via an email they had sent me that same day telling me oh hey um are we still up for that zoom meeting you know send your resume and all this stuff i'm like okay oh they want my resume okay this is legit so they're being you know picky or something or they're being careful about who they hire this isn't like some complete bullshit that's good well uh, i went to their youtube channel um so uh let's go ch let's check out let's check out um what these uh three videos well i don't, don't want to watch all three in particular but, but this one this one uh, is from five months ago um, let's see how exciting this, uh, this, uh, job position or, or this, this is. All right. So this is a serious video put out by a very serious financial company with a very unique, um, not unique, a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very obvious and, um, not vague at all mission i think but in any case let's let's check out let's check out what they got for us here all right so we're i'm gonna got i just want to make sure my audio is cool it looks like uh i'm gonna reduce that a little bit so if i speak we can all right so let's check it out guys let's check out what they got for us here Tell me if this is something uh, that, you know, if you saw it and uh, you were excited about some new job, you, you would think, oh, man, I can't wait. Um, and tell me what, also, pay, pay very close attention to the music. It's very important. Um, uh, it's part of, it's a, it's a very important aspect of, uh, I think, the mission statement here. But um, check it out. Yeah, um, also, this is brought to you by uh, Trunk Base Entertainment. Yes. So we have a very, um, very high class bougie event. And that music. I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. Hot sauce in the bag, swag. I'm not sure what they're celebrating here, but it has something to do with this company. That uh, I was offered a possibility of a wonderful job in this time of need um, that I'm going through. Very good stuff. Pictures of his family in the, in the background there. Excelsius and women. Now, you tell me, guys. Did that seem uh, seem like some uh, financial sector? good time work to you i mean uh I, I don't know but the music uh reminds me of a different field of work entirely but before i get into uh, a little bit further into my thoughts on that video uh, i want to show you a little bit more about something okay so i was looking through some of the other videos and here i'll go to this one in particular this one has a bunch of, you know, vague statements about the American economy and a void that needs to be filled and, you know, uh, jobs that are needed where you can make, oh, so, so much money. Jobs where, according to this, uh, and no, no boss, no salary caps, no required work hours, no layoffs. No layoffs means no job, but whatever. In any case... 
Let's go to the end here. The perfect wave. See that at the end? The perfect wave, right? Okay. Let me get that. It's a bunch of vague statements. Experience the full presentation Check it out. Wealth Waves feature video. Wealth the wave. wave. The perfect wave. Okay. So Wealth Wave, right? So I'm wondering what is Wealth Wave? I don't get I thought this is Excelsius Financial. Right? Okay, so Wealth Wave. Let's find out what Wealth Wave is. I don't want to show off everything I'm into there. Let's go ahead and search for it here, actually. Okay, one second. Wealth Wave. Wealth Wave. What is Wealth Wave? Oh, Wealth Wave. The How Money Works Company. Okay. So this is an association with this job that I'm being offered, Excelsius Financial, right? Interesting, interesting. So uh, who we are, so it's gonna be full of super vague statements about financial things and without any explanation whatsoever about uh, what it is that they sell. If you want to check it out yourself, go ahead and do so. Uh, mission statement platform okay well they got a Facebook they're really really um, really involved in social media and they have events so let's see what kind of events they have oh leadership events leadership oh. VIP green carpet day Wow that's impressive that's impressive now leadership a wealth way production so they're they produce entertainment of some kind. Wow. Okay. How's exciting, right? I'm sure. I'm sure they're totally free too. Well, let's check out their team. Oh, I'm curious who. Oh no. Oh no. I can't see who works for them unless I get exclusive access. Oh, that must mean I have to give them my email. Maybe go to one of these events. Oh man. 360 login. Oh, I need to be able to log in to find out more about this company that, you know, or this group, this wealth wave. That's so strange. Oh, man. They have a mission and a vision, you know, similar to the video, just a lot of kind of uh, semi facts about the economy. And, you know, phrases like make a difference and attract more people. Oh, so it's a, there's an emphasis. On, on attracting people you know attracting people towards your direction okay being a leader interesting okay so uh, there's a wealth wave store oh they sell t-shirts really cool hats and, and oh they keep bringing this up this how many works thing how many works how many works Okay, so what is this how many work stuff? What am I looking at? Oh, there's a store. Neat. Oh, oh, you want to join the uh, you want to be a book club member. Only $155 a month. What? $155 a month, the ultimate contact system? That's wild. That's like a bargain. 250 for book, 85% discount. It's a $17 book, people. You're getting it for 250 a book. One case, 62 books. $155 a month. Look, let's see some of these benefits. Automated contacting, prospecting, consistency, trackable activity, leverage duplication, personal and team accountability, systemic way to fill your pipeline, no need to stock books in your office, no, 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 because they're digital probably, you get them real cheap, that's awesome, how the book works, stop being a sucker, yeah, stop being a sucker, Buy, pay $155 a month to get a case of books that teach you how to stop being a sucker. Yeah, most people don't know beans about money. These books are going to teach you everything you need to know about money. All of it. All Look at it, all the money milestones. You're going to get to check those off. And all you got to do is submit your email, give them all your information, and then go to some events and pay $155 a month. 
So, you know, of course you need the this. You need the book club. You need to be part of the book club. And then, of course, you need to go to the Wealth Wave. Wealth Wave, you got you got to wear your shirt. You got to wear your hat. Definitely this polo. Then once you're wearing all that and, and you've been reading your books, you can then go to, you know, to the fucking events. You can go to all these fucking events, right? And once you go to the fucking events, you know about their vision. You learn about their vision, their mission, their mission. Right? Isn't that fucking cool, guys? Isn't that, isn't that fucking, you, don't you want to be one of these people right here in the stock image? Don't you want to be one of these people? One of these fucking extras? Don't you want to be that? Don't you want to be part of the team that you can't access? You know, a secret team. You want to be a part of a secret fucking team? Isn't that cool, guys? I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. I want to be part of a secret fucking team. But, um, besides that, you know, Excelsius Financial, let's go back to the start here. So, Excelsius Financial is promoting Wealthwave, which then wants you to be a part of their book club, right? Isn't that crazy? And all these women in this woman's event, it's a woman's event. That's really, that's really, um, it's very progressive. It's a woman's event, exclusive. They're all gonna become successful via Wealthwave, I'm sure, and the How It Works book club. All right, guys. I don't know what that sounds like to you guys. I think it sounds like a financial and a career opportunity. I'm sure the person who called me isn't is they're all they're doing is they're trying to what do they say they're trying to attract more people and carry the flag that's what she's doing she's carrying the flag so that i could follow her toward financial success i'm so glad i'm so glad she hit me up you know during these times where people need money the EDD is giving me the runaround. My Bank of America bullshit card account is giving me a ton of problems. I spent hours and hours of my day on phone calls trying to get this fixed. I apply for different jobs. None of them offer full time. None of them offer proper pay. Awesome. I'm so happy. I got a fucking phone call from a lady representative of Excelsius Financial. So that I could join the perfect wave. Here, well, you know what? Um, me and my buddy Conrad, right? He's the guy in the first conversation. If you want to know a little bit more about him. He helped me out. Um, he, uh, he said, hey, hey schizoid. <laughs> Why don't you um, submit to them, send them back a uh, an improvement on their uh, video presentation? Because, you know, it was missing a little something, we thought. The, the Excelsius Women's event was missing a little something, you know. Uh, it wasn't really grounded in reality the way um, we would I, I would have preferred to as well. The, you know, the music uh, was missing something. The event, the look of it, um, I feel like trunk-based entertainment didn't quite um, capture what it was that that, uh, that video was trying to like put forward. So uh, he, uh, he created uh, his own version of, uh, of uh, this video. I'd like you to uh, check it out. Um, tell me what you think. You got a really cool... Ignore the title. That's that. That was a. It's a misnomer. Uh, tell me what you think of this version here. This uh. This uh enhanced version. Of the Excelsius, financial corporation. Under the umbrella of Wealthwave, a how it how money works. Group. Check it out.
Yeah! Party time! Right? Isn't this more exciting? Look at that. That's more exciting, right? You got you got some um I got hot sauce in my bag. Got hot sauce in your bag swag. It's good shit. Now you really feel the financial power. The success of Wealth Wave. And how money works. The book club. This is what you get for that $155 a month. This is what you get. You get this type of professionalism, high level acceptance of women in, in the business environment. Excelsius and women. X women. Excelsius triple X for extra financial incentives. Right? A Mark Dorsell company. So, uh, just curious to, you know, what you guys think. It did, because cause I didn't really go to the interview after discovering all this. I decided, no, you know what, I'm not going to. This this company's far too complicated and far too, um, uh, you know, how do I get too too uh too ahead of the curve for me. I, I'm a I'm a simple man. I, I don't think I can handle this level of responsibility that this uh this job opportunity was offering. I don't think I can be that kind of leader. I don't think I can be that that kind of leader. It's too bad. All right, guys. So just you tell me what you think. You tell me what what you think about that. What you think about a a company doing that. Trying to, you know, offer a real good paying poss opportunity to a guy or to multiple people struggling in these times. All right. So off the satire here. This kind of stuff is sad. This kind of stuff pisses me off. This kind of stuff is funny. It's fucking funny because it's so goddamn absurd. But it's frustrating. Because you know people are going to be had. You know, people are going to fall into it. You know, people are going to be tricked. Oh, you should have heard the phone call. Oh, she told me all sorts of great things. And what made it funny, this is, this is what makes certain things funny. There's certain types of tricks that maybe don't work on us schizoids. I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I really don't think they do. But stuff like, you know, flattery and validation, they don't really do anything for me. I don't know about you guys. So when somebody's telling me, oh, you're, you're so amazing that time, you helped us pick out that dildo at um, at the store. You know, you were so amazing the way you, you, you showed us those, um, you know, squirting... Um, pocket pussies the way you point pointed those and out and, and all the cool features they had that really um that really made me feel good you know when i got home i was so happy as as my husband railed me against my bed frame i was just thinking oh man this guy this guy's awesome this guy uh this guy provides the best service I couldn't even focus on, uh, you know, the intercourse. I was so impressed by the level of customer service you provided that I had to write down on my notes the next time I called you that you had a wife and children that I could emotionally mention. I can mention to emotionally persuade you to join me on this financial venture. Ooh, how scary the COVID was. It was so scary. I want to talk about that with you. Was it scary for your family? Thought I'd mention that over the phone. Oh. Well, I got this job opportunity. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And maybe it's the paranoia, because I do have a little bit of it. But when I see stuff like this, when I see opportunities, when I see somebody showing up like this, when they start offering all these nice you know, pleasant things, I immediately become suspicious. 
and I am I'm almost negatively impacted by somebody trying to compliment me or um, you know persuade me in some not, not even persuade me just try to sway me with their charisma via emotional appeals because they don't work on me and I guess that's one of the few good things that I do like about being a Zoid is this shit won't work on me so anyway tell me what you guys think remember to like subscribe all that shit and follow on discord and twitter so we can talk a little bit more about the wonders of how it works book club